What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and the jailbreak for iOS 4.3.1 has been released for the iPhone 4, 3GS, new and old boot ROM, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd gen devices, as well as the iPad 1st generation. And it is a tethered jailbreak though guys, so you will have to use a program on your computer to boot your iPhone or iPod every time you reboot it or the battery dies, or else it just won't turn on. And it's a little inconvenient, but there will be an untethered jailbreak solution in the future, so you don't have long to wait. And if you want to unlock your device, there is a solution to that as well. If you have the 5.16.00 baseband or 5.16.02 or any other one than that, you can now use Snowbreeze to update the baseband to 6.15.00 and use Ultra Snow to unlock your iPhone. So that's really great news for people who've been looking to unlock on 4.3 or 4.3.1. Now not to confuse anyone guys, but I want to make this perfectly clear. If you have any of these basebands on an older firmware, you will be able to preserve them using Snowbreeze and unlock on 4.3.1. Now if you have a 3GS with any of these basebands right here, which you can check under settings general and about, you will be able to update it to the 6.15.00 baseband using a new option in Snowbreeze and resulting in an unlock on 4.3.1. So make sure you guys got that. If you have an iPhone 4 on any baseband that's not shown anywhere here, you will not be able to unlock it yet. All right, so let's get started. We will need two things. All links are in the description. There's a link to my site where you can find all of the links there. So definitely click on that. We'll need the latest version of Snowbreeze, which for me is 2.4 beta 1 right now. It may be updated, and I'll be sure to update the links if it is and you will need the 4.3.1 firmware of your device. So once you've got those two things, put them on your desktop and right click Snowbreeze and run as administrator. Yes, and here we are. So now we're gonna click OK and close credits and we're gonna click Next and we're gonna browse for that 4.3.1 IPSW right there, OK. And I am using a 3GS All right, and here is where you figure out what boot ROM you have. You'll put it into DFU mode if you don't know, and you'll use detect it for me. But I already know I have new boot ROM. Click next and expert mode. Here we will click on general, and you gotta mess around with the settings a bit. I definitely want multitasking gestures. They'll be enabled in settings, and I wanna activate my iPhone. And if you're on AT&T, make sure to uncheck this or else you're you will have no service guys make sure to uncheck it or else you will have no service if you're on AT&T if you don't have a legit carrier please check activate and next and this is the part where you will install the 6.15 baseband if you have these baseband's on your 3G or I mean on your 3GS of course if you have a 3G you won't be able to get the 4.3.1 firmware so on your 3GS if you go into settings and have these baseband's then you will be able to update them to the iPad one using this method and I'm not gonna check that because I don't want that baseband so next next and here we'll just click build IPSW and that's it so it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes so please be patient and I'll be right back Finally, Snowbreeze has finished and we're almost done here. Now make sure your iPhone is plugged in with your USB cable and click OK. And now we're going to be turning our device off and putting it into DFU mode. Alright, so in just a second here, we're going to click Start and we're going to wait 5 seconds until we press Power and Home together. There we go. So in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we're going to press the power and home button. Here we go. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the power button and continue holding the home button until Snowbreeze recognizes your iPhone. Okay, so now it is exploiting. And just close iTunes if it pops up and we're done. Click OK and you can set your iPhone aside and just close Snowbreeze and open up iTunes. Now in here we're gonna hold shift while left clicking restore on our desktop we should see the new custom firmware created by Snowbreeze and we're gonna select it and click restore. Now this will take another 10 to 15 minutes so I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, my iPhone has been restored, and most likely yours will get stuck on the loading progress bar, which means it's restoring, and that's not a problem. So on your desktop, you will now find a folder called iBooty for 4.3.1. Open it up, and inside you'll find iBooty.exe, and we will select our device, which will automatically be in there, and click Start. We'll quickly put our device into DFU mode. It's going to hold home and power for 10 seconds, then let go of power. And just going to wait for iBooty to recognize our device. And it will boot it, and it will boot up just fine. And while we're doing this, basically your device is tethered. So every time your device turns off or your battery dies, you're going to have to run iBooty the same way we're doing it right now in order for it to work and boot up properly. All right, my iPhone has booted up, and we should see Cydia on our springboard now. You'll open it up, you'll set it up, you are a user, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are now jailbroken on iOS 4.3.1. Now, on lockers, all you need to do is search for Ultra Snow, click on it, install and confirm. It'll respring your device, then you'll pop in your SIM card, wait a few minutes, and you will be unlocked. So that's it, guys. Really hope I helped you guys jailbreak your 4.3.1 device. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and enjoy the jailbreak.